Four ways to use your heart-shaped mold. Grab your heart-shaped mold and let's get started. First up, hot chocolate bombs. Melt your chocolate like this. Spoon the melted chocolate into your mold. Use the back of your spoon to smear the chocolate making sure that you cover the edges. Let them set by placing them in the refrigerator or the freezer for just a minute. Take them out and then add a second coat focusing on the edges. Once the fresh coat is applied, place it back in the refrigerator or freezer for just another second. Release the chocolate hearts by pulling away gently from the edges and then pressing up. Use a warmer or a hot pan to melt down the edges. It's important to not melt down too much of the edges so that the two halves will be able to adhere properly. Add in your hot chocolate of choice, I'm using red velvet, and then top with marshmallows. Melt down and adhere the top half. Then it's time to decorate. I am using an edible glitter. Ta-da! Hot chocolate bomb. Next up, mini breakable hearts. Apply two coats of white chocolate to your molds, chilling in between each coat and focusing on the edges. Pop them out like so. Use a pan or warmer of your choice to melt down the edges. Fill with the candy of your choice. I find coated candies work best, like these cute M&Ms. Melt down the top halves using your hot pan or warmer and adhere the two halves together. Decorate the hearts as you choose. I am using edible glitter, chocolate, and topping off with some cute sprinkles. These are so fun. Grab a mallet and smash. My work here is complete. The next way to use this heart-shaped mold is to make heart-shaped Kool-Aid juice bombs. You can check out my video here for a full detailed tutorial on how to make these. Coat the mold and add in the juice flavoring of your choice. I'm using Country Time Strawberry Lemonade. Release the candy shells by gently pulling away from the edges and pushing upwards. Melt down the edges using a hot pan or a warmer, then add in your juice filling and a bit of sparkly edible glitter. Melt down the top half and adhere it to the bottom half, making sure that the edges line up perfectly and there are no holes or gaps in your shell. Grab a drinking glass of your choice and drop the bomb in. Whoops! Maybe you should add in the hot water first and then drop the bomb into the hot water. Either way, once your bomb has melted, stir it up, add some ice, and enjoy. Next up, Rice crispy Filled Chocolate Hearts. Start by applying your chocolate into your molds, making sure to focus on the edges. For this one, you want to make sure that you scrape off any excess. Chill and then pop out of the mold. Fill with your choice of Rice crispy mixture and then top off with any other extra fillings that you would like to apply. I am adding caramel. Apply melted chocolate around the edge of the shell. This is going to act as a glue to glue your two halves together. Decorate the excess chocolate by dipping into sprinkles and dust with edible glitter. I hope you have enjoyed this easy tutorial on four ways to use your heart-shaped mold. If you did, please be sure to like this video and subscribe. And until next time, peace.